Hello viewers, this is Just Fag Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. 2013 video of TB Joshua saying a revolution in Nigeria, starting with protest. As the protest over police brutality engulfing the nation of Nigeria steadily grow in momentum, a video of TB Joshua prophesying a revolution instigated by Nigerian youth are resurfaced on social media. The video, which was originally heard seven years ago in July 14, 2013, shows Joshua sharing a revolution to the congregations of the synagogue, Church of All Nations, which he titled, Carry Your Youth Along. I am seeing the revolution, the cleric bluntly began, adding that every revolution starts by protest. I'm seeing people taken to the street, he continued, adding that the authorities would attempt unsuccessfully to quash the protest with police. You can stop protests, but you cannot stop revolution. When it becomes a revolution, everybody is ready to die, so you can stop it. He started. It might be stopped. At the beginning, eventually, it will become so big that it cannot be stopped. That I see, this I see happen. Nigerian. Pray is stated in the clip. The cleric, however, preferred a solution calling on the Nigerian government to actively engage its young people, recognizing they are the leaders of tomorrow. God has given us the way out, the way out, job creations for the youth, and the creations of new social value system is said. No matter the education the youth have, they feel they have no place in politics, and there is no job to keep them busy. He continued calling for a new orientation, especially in the political sphere. In politics, the youth should be considered for important positions such as assistants to elders, while the elders are ministers. The youth should be junior ministers, he advised by doing this. We are training them to take over tomorrow. The prominent cleric further retreated his shocking vision. Revolution is a weapon of change that is coming. This is the vision I saw. Revolution is coming when people would take to the streets because life has no value anymore to the people, he said. Adding that the coming ominous signs are disastrous. Joshua appealed to those in leadership to carry your youth along in politics and administration, especially in ruling your country. Adding that Nigerians' young people want to see themselves represented in every areas of life. When we carry the youth along, Whenever there is a revolt, they will be available to readily speak to their colleagues. He also noted, The cleric insisted the revel revelations was the voice of God, and none of these will go without being fulfilled. As sure as God lives, I, T.B. Joshua, will tell you only what God says. If I am hated, persecuted, or intimidated because of my accurate prophetic messages, Blessed be to God who gives the prophecy. The day we declare who is the right, who is in the right and who is in the wrong, says the Lord Joshua concluded. Since the outbreak of Ash and Sars protest, Joshua is yet to make a public comment and his official social media handles have not referenced it. The protests have drawn huge crowd throughout Nigeria's major cities, have muffled from insistence on the abolitions of the notorious Sars police unit to impassioned court for good governance and accountability among Nigerian politicians. Well, so viewers, I'm really, really impressed on what I'm hearing right now. You know, according to what we heard, you know, we we can say that T.B. Joshua has already made a prophecy that that was 2013, and now the prophecy is now coming to to a reality. Hmm. This is to tell you that this is now the time for our Nigerian youth to take charge. You know, it has said it. T.B. Joshua has said it already. The revolution is ongoing now already. Because why the South is protesting hand SARS and hand what's right? The North has come out to say they want SARS. Hmm. This is to tell you that the revolution is real. Is that not a revolution already? It is a revolution because the Northerners are going against the SARS are going against Nigerians saying that they want SARS 
and many uh, many southerners are saying that they want they don't want SARS. Hmm. We pray it does not exit this point. That is our prayer because according to the prophecy of TB Joshua, it shows that uh, the revolution to protest is going to be more than this. It's going to be more than this because come to think of it, for how many days now the youth have not slept in peace? For how many days? For how many days? Hmm. May God help us. We are praying that God should take charge of Nigeria. Because it's coming to reality. TB Joshua is 100% right in his prophecy. Hmm. Only God just saved President Muhammad Bugari from full outbreak of full national revolutions in Nigeria. The person that advised the president of Nigeria to bluntly tone down General Burata's request to deploy his troops against peaceful insults, protesters, was a good advisor. The reason is that the kind of request made by General Burata to the president is like a setup to send the president to a war that the president cannot even win at all. Cannot even win at, at all. And on the request of General Burata to deploy his troop against Nigerian citizens, that Burata's duty is protected, is to protect Nigerians by any form of aggressions, homes and externals and in which those peaceful protesters are demanding for change which is their right to demand for a change general burata's request to deploy his troop shows he was not mentally alert and spiritually alive with the current situations our lovely countries find ourselves presently right now may god help us but my best, my best, best advice to the president is that he should be very meticulous in handling our, na our national affairs. And he should hear the cry of Nigerians. He should do what many Nigerians want. That is just our problem, our prayer right now. He should do what Nigerian wants or has. This thing that is called protest, we hand to somebody, something else. It will lead to something else that we cannot even handle. That even the, 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 that even the Nigerians' leaders cannot even handle at all. With the way things are going on right now. Because the revolution is here already. The revolution is at our doorstep already. I'm telling you the truth. But may God help us. Our youths are ready. Our youth, our desperate, are ready to do anything to fight for their rights. They are ready. Because now, T.B. Joshua prophecy is now coming to a reality. A prophecy that he, he made 2013, years back, almost seven years ago, is now coming to a reality. Hmm. May God help us. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your home take? Kindly drop your comment. Have the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very, very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you have to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to always watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you so much for always being there for us at all time. God bless you. Stay safe. Bye.